so here we are at auction. Let's see how we get on today. There's all our stuff. Let's see how we get on. Ah, wish me luck. Didn't want that one. Thank you very much, 171 Helen. Well, we got one box. Let's see what's in it when we get home. Chisels and white boxes. Them lot there, that's a lot. Them lot there, Jenna. Five, three pound the lot. Two. Two. Three of the lot. Three. Four. Five anywhere. Five anywhere. Five anywhere. I can whistle it for you. Another lot more. Four pound. We saw it. Let's see if we can sneak this one in. Marvellous. We've got that one as well. <laughs> so, we've been at it again at the auction today. Below me. Oh. On the living room floor, beautiful wife's not happy, but she came with me and see me get all this stuff. So let's have a look at what we've got today. <laughs> so, here's a brief overview of what we've got. I'll go through the boxes individually. And yeah, I'll tell you what I paid and we'll have a look. Right, let's get the camera set up. And get straight into this so here we are folks the first box i bought i had to pay out for this one um i bought all these boxes of things because i see one thing in the box that i needed or wanted in this box i wanted the torque wrench i saw that from a distance i haven't really looked it through this box in any detail i just saw the torque wrench and thought hmm you're not going to get that for a couple of quid I'll go up to like a tenner for the box. And I got this box for £8. So have I got eight quids worth of stuff? Well, to me, the torque wrench is probably worth, you know, yeah, the torque wrench is nice. It's the old school manual ones, which I prefer instead of them horrible click-click ones where you have to take the tension off them every time for old stationary engines. In pound foot and all, these are perfect perfect for the old crap I work on so very happy with that so that's what I actually wanted and I got this whole box of stuff for eight pound what else have we got in here oh I don't think we can go through every single thing let's just have a brief look through junior hacksaw little wooden hammer no screwdriver actually good good sharp edge on it yeah she's a nice long one as well look 
yeah, she's she's no screwdriver. Ah, always handy for a pair of mole grips. Oh, look, I think they even got a make them. They are proper mole grips, look. None of your Chinese crap. Yeah, these are proper mole grips. Birmingham made, look. Oh, yeah. Do the work. Oh, yes. I think they're a bit sticky. They want unseasoned, but... Oh, I'm really happy with them. Oh, this old stuff is seven-eighths, look. Seven-eighths to inch and a quarter. So we've got some old stuff here. One of them adjustable spanners. There are some old metal handle pliers. And what's this? Well, look what someone's done with a pair of tin snips. I've never seen a pair of... Well, look at that. I put a bit of pipe on the end of some tin snips to act as a spring. Well, ain't that a good idea, look? Someone's put a pipe on there to act as a spring. We have a ratchet screwdriver. Which appears... Yeah, which appears to work. I'd probably use that with them bits from last night's video. So, there's a file. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. An old-fashioned wheel brace. Ooh! Look at that. Do that ratchet work. Half-inch drive ratchet. Cool. I don't seem to work that way. Unless that just won't free up. She is a bit sticky. But yeah, we've got a half inch ratchet. They're quite heavy ones. I can't see a make on it, but that is quite heavy, quite substantial. Uh, what else have we got? Anything of interest? Old adjustable. Oh, loads of little screwdrivers. Anyhow, you can basically, without taking up an hour's worth of video to go right through this. Oh, there's one of them multi tools for undoing different bungs and. Um, yeah, very handy. Hole saws, another pair of tin snips. Oh, she's an old coffin maker screwdriver or something for driving heavy screws in. She's a good one. I was going to try and pick out some key bits. Another decent screwdriver. Lots of different screwdrivers. What we got here? A little centre punch. Don't look like that's had any use. There's a little, that looked like a, a tool off a wood lathe by the look of it. That looked like what you'd use on a small lathe. Not sure. We've got a lot, another nice screwdriver. A part of a, oh, what's this little leather thing here? We've got a little leather, a little leather case. What's in there? What is it? Oh, look at that. There's a little tiny screwdriver. A brad hole, or three brad holes, or two brad holes, and a oh, aren't they lovely? I've even got little. This is like tortoise shell baker light handles. I bet these are really old in a proper leather case as well. None of your plastic crap. So these unit, these things obviously come from old people's sort of old people's workshops. Mm. Hilka, Hilka Japan. That's a half inch drive breaker bar. We've got this thing. Some some form of ratchet. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's just so much. Oh, nice pair of needle nose pliers. So I did have to pay up for this and give the grandson of the eight pound for it. Yeah, what we got there. A G door, whatever that is, German G door, German 19 mil socket. I always think that's a damn good socket. A nice big chunky Phillips screwdriver. There is a lot of stuff, however many miniature hacksaws are in this box. I think we've got several. Let's have a look at how many miniature hacksaws are actually in here. I've already took one out and there's four others, including one with a wooden handle. So we've got tons of junior hacksaws. A new Allen key. 
files, countless amounts of spanners, pliers, squeaky butt pliers, a Stanley screwdriver, some more screwdrivers. There is oh, more pliers, more pliers. I got more pliers than you can shake a stick at. A pair of super huge circlip pliers. You get big old circlips with them. Several of these adjustable spanner things. There's what we got here. Another hacksaw. What we got here. Park Tools USA. Oh, a nice little set of Allen keys, look. I've never heard of Park Tools USA. Are they any good? Park Tool USA. Haven't got a clue. Good set, bad set. What have we got in this little tub here? Well, look at that. There's a little set. Tiny little set of wooden handled files, look. Aren't they lovely? There. So we've got a nice little set of files. Little quarter drive. Thing we have some more pin nose pliers, some more pin nose pliers. I've got more pin nose pliers than I know what to do with. Electrical screwdriver, another normal screw. There is just no end of stuff in here, and I don't suppose an old fashioned ratchet screwdriver with a wooden handle. I think she's a good one. Yeah, do it work the other way? Yeah, all right. Do it lock in the middle. No. No, that don't lock in the middle. It's just one way or another. So yeah, nice little set. Some car fuses. That's a rum screwdriver. Look at that. That's like an R tower. No, unless that come out of a car tool kit or something. There's like a... Oh, that's a strange Phillips up screwdriver, that one. Anyhow more pliers, more screwdrivers, loads and loads and loads of screwdrivers. So I'm not sure I want to go through this whole box. I think we've covered the majority of what this is, wheel braces. So we don't want to swallow the whole video up with just a box of tools. And another one of them little punches, look. There we go, we have little spanners. More pliers, more pliers. This old boy in his shed certainly like pliers. Oh, look at that. English made. English made. I think they're a damn good pair of side cutters. I don't know. I bet they're a damn good pair of side cutters. There's no gap in them, there's no air gap in them. I think they're some good ones. Being English as well. Yeah. So, there's some miniature pliers there. Little miniature needle nose pliers. Two pairs of them. So have I got eight pounds worth? Well, look at that. King Dick again. We have a King Dick socket. If you remember on last night's video, I come across two King Dick breaker bars. So it looked like we've now got a socket to go with our King Dick. There is just so much stuff. I'm digging right into the bottom to see if there's anything of any interest. We've just got files, spanners. There's a handy little 3.8 extension there. Very handy little 3.8 extension. I'm always wanting 3.8 extensions. I, not 3.8, quarter drive, sorry. So I use quarter drive quite a lot. So yeah. Well, we'll call this video a day here, and I will get another box, and we'll get that unboxed. Shall we do that on this video, or shall we carry on and do a separate video of that? Let me ever think. I'll either put it on the end of this video, or I'll do another video altogether. But for now, I'm going to say bye-bye for now, and I hope you've enjoyed my purchases today. No, we'll do. No, I've just decided. 
the other box i'll do that in a on a separate video i'll just show you a sign i bought now i had to pay for this look at that a bosch service center sign which all apparently lights up and i love this it's steel it has three up lighters or down lighters should i say and yeah i loved it i did have to pay for this this certainly won i'm sorry to say it won under a tenner i had to give 32 quid for this but i like it um i will plug it in and try it so but yeah it's even got a mains plug on it so hopefully it'll work and i'm going to put that upstairs in the man cave and it's going to light my train set up so yes oh, and also we'll go through this and all while we're here didn't intend buying this i stood right beside it hadn't even looked at it and the guy came along to sell it and i didn't realize it was all one toolbox now i've never seen a toolbox let me get it out if i can do it one-handed there i have never seen a toolbox which opens up like this now i thought that was cool and i had to give the princely sum of five pound for it and it's on wheels look it's actually, whoops, it's actually on casters and it's a talco made in britain here's the auction i go to and i got this for a fiver and this auction is on every saturday morning so yes all right i'm going to call this video a day and we'll see you next time bye bye for now Ha <laughs> ha! Love a talk range.